Okay, on to Disney. Like I mentioned, I didn't have any Disney titles last month. I don't know why, but I got a lot this month and a lot of cool ones. So, let's take a look. We're going to start with uh, non-slip covers. So, I found this at Half Price Books. National Treasure 2, um, Book of Secrets. I don't have the first one yet, but I picked this up because it was like in their clearance section for like two bucks. Um, so I grabbed this, it was, you know, Disney. I gotta get the first one now. I'll probably just keep an eye out for it in the wild. If not, just get it online. But I had to pick up that for the Disney collection. A Disney title I've wanted for some time, not just because it's Disney, but just, I love this movie. And uh, I found this on Facebook from a seller and that is The Rocketeer. I wish they'd have a, a cooler edition with a slipcover, but uh, this doesn't come with a slipcover, unfortunately. This is the 20th anniversary edition. And I think it's like really the only U.S. release edition of The Rocketeer. But I remember loving this as a kid. It has been so long since I've seen this movie. But it's Disney and it's just a cool movie. Had it had on it. Next up here is Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Um, I had to start collecting all these uh, films. Um, I, I've never seen them. Um, there's a lot of Disney I haven't seen. But uh, the kids like them. I think they've actually already watched uh, watched it. So... Had to pick this up, and unfortunately, this one doesn't come with a slipcover, so. All right, I think that's it for non-slipcover Disney's. Let's get into the slipcovers now. All right, we'll go ahead and start with live action. Found this on eBay. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day with a slipcover. Never seen it, uh, but it's Disney. Had to get it. Next up is a film I found really cheap with a slipcover at Half Price Books, and that is Super Buddies. This is like the first in this franchise that I own. There are so many of these. There's like, there's like spinoff franchises. I think it all started with the Air Bud, and then they just went on and on. And there's so many different ones of these. Um, so I and I don't even know which ones are on Blu-ray, which ones aren't, which ones have slips, and which ones don't. So this is the first one I got. So I'm gonna kind of do some research to try to see if I can find them all. But there's a ton. Uh, but, you know, if I'm trying to get everything Disney, I'm going to have to work on it. But so far, this is the first one I got. Like I said, it was like three bucks half price books with the slipcover. So. Okay, so now we're going to get into the Tron movies. Finally got these on Blu-ray. So here's Tron, the original classic. I got this sealed from a Facebook seller with slipcover for like nine bucks or something. Um, and it's in beautiful condition. Never seen the Tron films, but... And here's the uh, new one, Tron Legacy. So, I mean, like I said, I've never seen Tron. I don't know a lot about them. So I don't know if the, this is like a sequel to this or these are this is like a remake. I, I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. Uh, but I got them both with slipcover now. So uh, I think I found this off of eBay. So awesome. Needed those for the uh, Disney collection. Next up here is the Kevin Costner film. Got, got off eBay, McFarland, USA. Found it super cheap with a slipcover. So I grabbed it. We'll see if it's any good. Another one I found off eBay with a slipcover, Million Dollar Arm. Um, this actually looks kind of cool, like a baseball film. Um, I love baseball films, and it's Disney, so uh, awesome with slip. All right, here are the other Beverly Hills Chihuahua films. There's part two and part three. So both of these actually have slipcovers, but for some reason the first one doesn't, so <sighs> I don't know. Uh, this one I found like $3 at uh, FYE, believe it or not. And then I snaked this one off of eBay along with the first one. So Found this at Half Price Books, I believe, in Texas. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Don't know anything about it, but it's Disney. Had to get it. Another Facebook pickup, G-Force. Uh, this one came with that stupid thick slip, which I know there is a, a, you know, a normal size one. So, I just, I hate them. I don't even know why they do it. But anyways, I finally got this on uh, e on uh, Blu-ray for the Disney collection. Got a lot of uh, live action. I don't really have many uh, animated. Anyways, the last live action one. Uh, so, I found, this is a tough one to find with a slipcover. And I ended up getting the slipcover off Blu-raysforeveryone.com. Really cheap, believe it or not. Uh, sometimes, uh, the prices on there can be pretty high. Uh, but uh, I found this for like seven bucks for the slipcover, and then I jumped online and got the movie for like uh, same price, seven bucks. So fourteen dollars for this movie with slipped uh, 
together. So that is the Muppet Christmas Carol. Uh, the last one I needed for the Disney collection. And I, I really like this one a lot. And I'm happy to finally have it with slipcover, you guys. This was definitely one on the list for a while. So happy to finally have this now. So like I said, I just need one more Muppet film for the franchise. And I'll have them all. So, yeah. Like I said, really good deal. There's a different slipcover for this. Like a gold one that's really expensive. I didn't care to get that one. I'm, I'm cool with this one. So, all right. Let's get into the animated Disney. I right, really happy to finally have these films. Um, I found the second one from a seller on Facebook, really cheap, with slipcover. So I had to jump online to get the first one. Uh, and I found a really good deal on it with slipcover as well. And that is the Pixar Short Films Collection. Um, these have awesome slipcovers. They have like this really cool shine to them. And here is uh, part two. Um, and uh, I'm happy I found them both with slipcovers. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this looks, you know, just a bunch of, like, just little short animated films for Pixar. So, uh, happy to have these. It'll be fun to kind of watch, you know, go through and watch all these. So, awesome. All right, so, uh, here's another uh, short film collection. This is actually just the regular Disney short film collection, not the Disney Pixar. Uh, but uh, they only made one of these um, and got it with a slipcover. I actually found this at Toys R Us, believe it or not. Uh, when we went there, you know, a couple weeks ago for, you know, they're going out of business sale and I found this there really cheap. Um, I think it was like 12 bucks with a discount or maybe less. Um, so now I got all, um, got all the, uh, short films collection for Disney and Pixar. So, okay. Save the best for last uh, for the Disney, uh, titles. And that is one that is, is off the hard to find list. I'm down to like three or four more you guys and I got all the Disney animated with slip covers but this was a toughie this one is really expensive online another 50 to 60 dollar one with a slip cover and I was fortunate enough fortunate enough to find it in Texas at half price books for like 15 dollars with slip cover I was so happy and that is Treasure Planet look it up you guys it's a really spendy one with the slip cover and uh, that's where I have the best luck is, if ha is half price books. I'm down to one more really hard one to find, expensive one, and that is the Atlantis double feature for for Disney. I need that one so bad, but it's so expensive. It's uh, you know the slipcover's rare and out of print, and I'm hoping that I strike at half price books like with, like this one. <sighs> Fingers crossed. But happy to have Treasure Planet now for the Disney collection. So. All right, you guys, that is all Disney. Let's move on to horror titles. All right, like usual, we'll start with non-slips. Found this in Texas at Half Price Books at the convention. Disturbia, Shia LaBeouf film, and I believe that this was a remake of um, Rear Window, I think. I think that's what it's called. But anyways, cool movie, had to pick that up. Found this from a Facebook seller, a movie called Darkness Falls, a horror film based on the Tooth Fairy. Uh, cool movie. Um, had to grab that one I wanted for a while on Blu-ray. Uh, one I found off of eBay, I believe. Uh, favorite horror film of mine, if you really want to count it horror, I do. But that is Arachnophobia. Oh, my God. I hate spiders. <laughs> one of my biggest fears. But I love this movie. It just kicks ass. I love John Goodman in this movie. And Jeff Daniels is cool. He's a cool actor. But uh, so happy to have this on Blu-ray. I'm going to check this out soon. I'm you know, curious to see what the transfer is like. All right. I think these were from a seller on Facebook, I think. But anyways, uh, I finally got all the Jaws sequels. Uh, two, three, and Jaws of Revenge. Uh, first one's definitely the best, obviously. Two's pretty good. Uh, but I just wanted to get them all on Blu-ray, so... I, I, like, I like how the uh, the covers are all, you know, they all kind of match. I think that's kind of cool, but... Happy to finally have all the Jaws on Blu-ray. Alright, this one here is from that uh, subscriber that gave me that Halloween 2 metal pack. An out-of-print Blu-ray I've been after for a while, but didn't want to pay the out-of-print price for it. And he just gave it to me. Apparently he found it really cheap out in the wild somewhere. Thank you so much, man. I needed this for the collection. I can't believe I finally have this. That, of course, is uh, Dawn of the Dead. 
Uh, we all know that this is out of print, really expensive, and he just gave it to me. So again, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. If you're watching this video, you kick ass. So Dawn of the Dead, uh, the original. One of my favorite Stephen King films, 1408. Um, I got this, I think, from the same seller. I got uh, a couple of these other ones, like Darkness Falls. Um, but I've been wanting this on Blu-ray for a really long time. This is a really creepy movie, um, and I love it. So that's 1408. Check this out, you guys. Creep the shit out of you. All right, next up here is See No Evil. Uh, I think I found this on eBay. This one never came with a slipcover, I don't think, which sucks. Uh, but I love this film. You know, it stars Kane, the wrestler. Um, and uh, I, I, I had to get it. It's just, it's so cool. Um, I found the second one, which you'll see here in a second, um, off of a, off the, the same Facebook seller. Um, and uh, so I had to get the first one too. So, awesome. All right, finally got my hands on the Tremors film. So this, of course, is the... Tremors Attack Pack, which you get the first four. They have yet to release uh, a collection that's got all of them in it. Uh, but the first one is just, is just kick-ass. I've actually never even seen all the sequels. I think I might have seen two and three, but I've never seen anything beyond that. Uh, but the first one is awesome, Kevin Bacon. I just seen a trailer yesterday for the new uh, Tremors uh, series that's coming out. It actually looks kind of cool. Um, you know, it's got Kevin Bacon in it as well, but, uh, so this one, like I said, has got the first four films, uh, which is, uh, Aftershocks, uh, number two, Aftershocks, number three, Back to Perfection, number four, The Legend Begins, so, cool. All right, now getting into slipcovers, so we'll just go ahead and start with these since I just showed you the first four. Tremors 5, Bloodlines, uh, found this in Texas at, uh, Half Price Books. Uh, the same time that the sixth one came out, A Cold Day in Hell. So, uh, this is the brand new one. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't even seen this one, but these are the two that Jamie Kennedy is in. Um, so yeah, I had to get them now. These both, you know, cool. They both, I, I found that one with a slipcover and, you know, hope, I, I thought that this originally had a slipcover. If you guys know if it does, let me know because I really want to get the slipcover for that. But, so there's all the Tremors films. All right, so I was just talking about this one. So here it is, See No Evil 2. I've never seen the sequel. This one, cool enough to come with a slipcover. I don't know why the first one didn't. So now I have uh, both on Blu-ray, and I'm excited to check the second one out. I heard it wasn't that good, but um, it'll be fun. All right, got this in Texas at Half Price Books at the convention as well. You know, the Half Price Books uh, usually uh, will go out to conventions. And uh, they had a, a nice stack of movies for sale there. So I picked this up with a slipcover, Mama. Um, I heard a lot of mixed reviews about this movie, but I found it so cheap, with like two, three bucks with a slipcover. So I just grabbed it for the hell of it. A lot of people say it was really creepy. Other people say it's stupid. I don't know, but it was cheap. And the last of the regular horror pickups are the two Sinister films. This one was really good, really creepy. Uh, this one wasn't as good, um, kind of a letdown because this one was so good that I, you know, I was hoping that the sequel would be just as good, if not better, but it really wasn't that good. But uh, I found this one, I'm trying to remember, one of these, I think, one of these I found at Half Price Books at the convention in Texas, and then the other one I ended up finding out at uh, Half Price Books when I went out on Memorial Day, I believe, but anyway. So, awesome. Yeah, that's all my horror titles. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right, next up, we're going to go ahead and look at my 4K pickups. Kind of exciting because I've never really done this before. And since I don't have a lot of 4K, I'm not going to really categorize them. So, for a while, we'll just put all 4K pickups together in one little group. Um, so, it'll be, you know, random titles, a little bit of everything. So... I bought a couple from uh, Craig recently, and this is one that he uh, just threw in for me, uh, and that is the Maze Runner on 4K. Um, this one didn't come with a slipcover, unfortunately, but uh, he just threw this in here. He uh, he knows that Jess uh, likes these movies. I, I got the first two on Blu-ray. I haven't got the third one yet, but so now I got this on 4K. Another one I got from my buddy Craig, and that is E.T. with the slipcover. 
definitely a title I had to own on 4K. Um, and uh, I can't remember what he said about the transfer on this one. Um, I'll have to look into that, but hopefully I'll just get a chance to watch it soon. But this was the number one film of the year I was born, 1982. Yes, I'm an old man. But anyway, happy to have this on 4K for sure. Another one Craig just threw in the box for free. Uh, just one that he happened to find really cheap himself uh, out, out somewhere. I can't remember where he got it, but he just you know gave it to me. And that is a Harry Potter film. This one is... Prisoner of Azkaban. I don't know which number this is, like three or four or something like that. But anyways, uh, he just threw this in here. So this is my first Harry Potter film on 4K. So now i got to buy them all in 4K. So <laughs> I will eventually. But uh, yeah, it would be interesting to see what Harry Potter looks like uh, on 4K one day when I get a 4K player. I don't have one or a 4K TV. So I'm hoping maybe this year at Black Friday I'll find a really good deal and finally upgrade. All right, then the other ones I got from Craig are Man of Steel. I had to get these on 4K, you guys. Um, I actually didn't own slipcover editions of uh, the DC Universe. I have uh, the Digibooks from Target and Steelbooks, but I never had slipcover editions, and I always wanted to get the Blu-ray ones. And I figured, I'm like, you know what? What the hell? I'll just get all the <laughs> 4K. So uh, there's Man of Steel. Uh, next up, of course, is Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. And then, third one, Suicide Squad. So he had the first three films, so he sold these to me at a really good price, and then kind of threw in those other ones. So thanks a lot, buddy. I really appreciate you uh, starting out uh, my 4K collection for me. And then, of course, I had to get these just so I had them all. I went over to uh, Best Buy, and I picked these up. Um, I price matched them on Amazon, so they actually got an okay deal on them. Of course, there's Wonder Woman, and then Justice League. So I got all five of the DC Universe with slipcovers, so on 4K. That's awesome. All right, next up is another movie I had to own on 4K, and that, of course, is the brand new It film. And I got a bunch of editions of this. I got the Steelbook, of course. Um, I got the uh, DVD version with that uh, cool Walmart exclusive artwork. Um, and then I got the uh, Target exclusive lenticular slipcover. And I always wanted to get the, this one, too, just because this is like the regular um, original you know, theatrical poster uh, edition. Um, so I was going to get the Blu-ray of that, but I figured, what the hell, I'll get the, the 4K of it. So, awesome. Happy to have that on 4K. All right. And the last of the 4K pickups, these were part of uh, Best Buy's deal that they're running. I think they're still running it. Uh, where there's so many titles, like 20-some titles to choose from. Three for 50. I've been wanting to get these forever on 4K. They started out like 25 bucks a piece and they went down to like 20, then they went back up to 25, then they went up to like 27. Uh, but then when I seen that they were part of the three for 50, that made them like $16 a piece. Couldn't say no to that. And that is of course the Dark Knight Trilogy. Yes. Oh, I love these movies so much. Slipcovers kick ass, of course Batman Begins. Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. Um, I was able to watch parts of these when I was uh, in uh, Pennsylvania visiting Craig. Um, and they look pretty cool. Craig says he's watched them all and uh, this uh, transfers a lot better than this one. Um, but either way, I have uh, the Dark Knight trilogy on 4K now. And I'm so happy. So that's all my 4K pickups, you guys. So between these and all the still books that I have 4K, I got a pretty good collection so far. I, I got to have about 15 to 20, somewhere in that neighborhood. So uh, we're getting there, you guys, slowly but surely. And I'm, I think it's safe to say now I'm officially part of the 4K club. And I know a lot of my subscribers out there are going to be pretty happy about that. So, all right, let's move on now to my uh, specialty type collections, you know, the Heralds of Scream factories, all that stuff. Let's do it. All right, starting out with Vinegar Syndrome. This was uh, one of the newer titles from them with slipcovers. Found this at the Vinegar Syndrome booth in Texas. A movie called Blue Vengeance. This movie actually sounds really cool. Um, I love Vinegar Syndrome uh, titles, you guys. They have the coolest slipcovers. They're like thick and heavy duty. They're the best slipcovers you can find for any movie. Um, so I had to grab this. Uh, you know, it wasn't that expensive. You know, Vinegar Syndrome was running some pretty good deals at the convention. So, uh, like I said, this is one of their most recent releases. So, I had to pick that one up. 
And then a vinegar syndrome title I've been after forever, but it's one of the hardest ones to find with slipcover because the slipcover is out of print now. And I finally found this from a seller on Facebook while I was in Texas. My buddy Craig tagged me in this post. And luckily enough, I was able to grab this for really, really cheap, probably almost half of what you, what you find it for on eBay and shit right now. And that is a movie called The Hearse. I've never seen this movie, but it, it sounds awesome. Everybody tells me how good it is, but I just really want to get it because I love that artwork. Um, the slipcover is just so badass looking. And I'm so happy I finally have this for the Vinegar Syndrome collection. I don't have a lot of Vinegar Syndrome, um, but I'm trying to get more of the slipcover editions. Uh, but I've been after this forever and I finally have it, so I'm, I'm so happy. Awesome. All right, let's do the MVD Rewinds now. Um, so a, a brand new uh, line of films uh, that started a few months back. Uh, they're, they're random titles. Um, you know, you get like a little bit of everything. Um, it seems like they're doing, but they're really retro looking and they give the slipcovers a really special uh, retro look with like, to make it look like an old school VHS, you know, they got like stickers on it, you know, please rewind. Some of them are really messed up looking, you know, just to give it like an old look. Um, but uh, let's just kind of run through them now. I got all six, there's six right now, and they got like two more coming out this Tuesday um, of some really cool titles. Uh, so anyways, I was able to find all these. I mean, this is kind of random. I found one of these like at Fry's in Texas, uh, a couple of these from some Facebook sellers, Amazon. Um, but I was able to get all six of them now. So I got the whole collection and I got all the new ones coming out uh, pre-ordered right now. So number one, they, and they all, they're all numbered. First one here is a DOA, a rite of passage. This is like, uh, they call this a rockumentary. Uh, if you guys want to read the backs, but this is really cool. As you see, it like, it looks like I all messed up down there. They got a special collector's edition sticker on here. And then there's the number one, if you guys can see that. And then... Number two here is uh, the one I found at Fry's. This one apparently is the only one so far that the slipcover is out of print now. So I was fortunate enough to find this there really cheap. Uh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Uh, I love the Be Kind Rewind on there. and um, <laughs> This is kind of messed up looking. So awesome additions. And you get posters with all these too. And they come with uh, clear Amory cases. So there's number two. Number three is a Van Damme film called Black Eagle. Uh, not one of my favorite Van Damme films, but uh, still cool. Uh, you see how like, and these aren't like actual stickers on here. It's like part of the actual print. Um, another Be Kind Rewind sticker. Number four here is a movie called Savannah Smiles. I like this one. Look at that, how oh, that one's like ripped in the corner. You can see like a VHS underneath. That's this is definitely one of my favorite slipcovers. Uh, please rewind me when done. Thanks. It's like some like I don't know if this is like just like some pretend video store or something. It's just so cool, you guys. Uh, I, like I've some of these I've never even heard of the movie, but it's just a cool line of films. Next up here is number five. Oh, actually, I don't know if I was like showing you the numbers. Let's see, two, three, four. That's oh, kind of hard to see. Number five is a movie I never thought I'd see on Blu-ray. Uh, I remember wanting to get this for the uh, Marvel collection. I think Marvel. I always get that wrong. I say it every time. It's Marvel or DC, one of the two. Pretty sure it's Marvel. Anyway, Return of the Swamp Thing. Um, this, I think, was like a straight to TV, like a TV movie or something. Um, and I ended up finding the DVD one day at Half Price Books. And I was so happy because yeah, I just needed it for the Marvel collection. Uh, but now MVD put this sucker on Blu-ray. That's awesome. So, so cool. Love it. And then the last and final one, movie called Went to Coney Island on a Mission from God, Be Back by Five. Don't be fined. Please rewind. I just I just love it. I, I love the retro look. There's number six, number five, and Swamp Thing. You see that? Anyway. So, yeah, they a really cool line, you guys. I'm going to start collecting all these. I'm going to keep getting them every time they release new ones, but yeah. One of my favorite new uh, collection of films. Next up, we'll do Scream Factory. Now, no collector editions uh, in this update, uh, but some uh, uh, Scream Factory films regardless. These are some of the IFC Midnight 
uh, releases. I found all three of these in Texas. There is a booth for IFC Midnight release uh, for Scream Factory titles. Uh, so I picked up uh, three of them. The first one here is Beyond the Gates. This one didn't come with a slipcover, I'm, I'm, as far as I know. But I remember reading about this when it was first coming out, and it looked kind of cool. But uh, it is Scream Factory. Uh, and then now these two have slipcovers. A movie called Backcountry. I heard a lot of good things about this one. I've been wanting this for a while. You guys can read about that. And then the last one here is House on Willow Street. And this one sounds badass too. All right, so those are the Scream Factories. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the arrows now. I got a lot of arrows, you guys. Let's do it. So, I recently really got into Arrow. Um, I always had a few of them, but now uh, Craig and I recently decided that we want to start getting all the Arrow titles that come with slipcovers. Um, so, that's pretty much what I've been doing lately. So, I got mostly slipcovers and a few non-slipcovers. I just titles I wanted to get. Now, um, a lot of these I got in Texas, uh, but we'll kind of you know talk about it uh, as we go along. First one here is... I, I just got uh, hey, I, uh, the first one, uh, MVD Rewind, so I had to get the second one, which Arrow had, Return of the Killer Tomatoes. These movies are so ridiculously cheesy, but I like them. Next up um, is one I found, uh, uh, well, Killer Tomatoes I got at the Arrow booth at the convention. This one, I was hoping that the Arrow booth would have it, um, but they didn't, um, and then... I went to Fry's and found that they're really cheap. Um, I tried getting this online, but for some reason it was really expensive, and I can't believe I found it there. And it was like, I think it was like 25 on the, like it was labeled as 25, and then when I got to the register, it rang up for like 15. But anyways, uh, that is Bride of Reanimator. So I already got the first one, and Vestron announced the third one is coming to their line. Um, so I had to get the second one. So, uh, yeah, happy to, to actually stumble across that at Fry's. That was kick-ass. Another title I've wanted to get on Blu-ray for some time, never did. Um, Arrow released a couple different editions of this, Steelbook, Box Set, and Standard Amory. I just went with the Standard Amory on this one, but that is Donnie Darko. Cool film. Had, had to own this on Blu-ray. Didn't even own it on DVD, so... Another, uh, this is actually the last uh, non-slipcover for uh, my arrows, but a movie that just looks so crazy over the top. A lot of people talk about this being good cheese, uh, and that is Microwave Massacre. This movie looks cool. Just just some crazy, super over-the-top horror film. Uh, but I picked this up from the arrow booth. I got Donnie Darko from the arrow booth. All right, let's get into these slipcover arrows. Okay, so... See where I got all these now from. Uh, first one I'm going to show you here is actually the most recent one from Arrow with Slip, and that is uh, the Bloodthirsty trilogy. Some, like, I don't know, Japanese horror films. Uh, the Vampire Doll, Lake of Dracula, and Evil of Dracula. So I know nothing about these, but it's the newest one that comes with a slipcover. So I had to pick it up. This one I got from, I think, a Facebook seller. Movie called Contamination. I don't know what this is. It looks like some kind of alien film or something. Uh, but just a kick-ass slipcover. Next up is a title I got from uh, the Arrow booth in Texas. They, they were running a sale. like on all Almost all their titles were just three for 50, so which is an amazing deal. So next up here is the Dead or Alive trilogy. Um, Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive 2, Birds. Dead or Alive, Final. So, I mean, that's what they're all called down there. Um, don't know anything about these films. I don't know. But like I said, I'm just collecting all the arrows with slipcovers, which I think there's like, some are like 12 to 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. I don't know. But Dead or Alive trilogy. Next up is a Robert De Niro film, Ronin. Um, I've never seen this movie. And I love Robert De Niro. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, one of the slipcover editions, so had to pick it up. Got this from the Arrow booth. This one I got, I believe, from a Facebook seller. There was one particular Facebook seller that was selling a bunch of arrows, and a lot of these are from that guy. Uh, but a movie called Crimes of Passion. Uh, Kathleen Turner, Anthony Perkins. Kick-ass looking slipcover. 
Uh, this just looks like a cool film. I don't know. You know, eventually we'll start getting all these arrows. We'll just watch them all like I did with my uh, Scream Factories. Um, and hopefully most of them will be good. Another one I picked up in Texas, a movie that I, I really wanted. This is from the same creator of uh, Basket Case, Brain Damage. I heard that this movie is just freaking crazy and, uh, and, and really good. Um, but I love the artwork. Had to pick this up. All right, this next one I got from the Arrow booth. But unfortunately, this one didn't have the slipcover at the Arrow booth because I think this is like one of the hard to find out of print ones. But uh, my buddy Craig knew a guy that had one. This is actually the UK slipcover um, with the US release title, which is fine because uh, it's basically the same thing. Uh, a movie called Blood Rage. The only difference is the, you know, the 18 label on here. Um, it's only on the front, this spine on this side and the back. But the actual regular spine that you see up on the shelf doesn't have it, so it's kind of cool. But it's not a big deal. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so another crazy-looking horror film that I had to get for the Arrow collection. And then the very last one here is another one I got, I think, from that same Facebook seller. And that is a movie called The Mutilator. <laughs> These are just crazy looking movies, you guys, that are gonna be a lot of fun to uh, sit down and start watching them all. Uh, this one just looks like some crazy ass slasher film. Um, so, yeah, so I'm really happy with my uh, where my Arrow collection has been going. Um, I have a few more I need to get. I think there's like four more slipcover editions, like Fish Called Wanda, um, uh, I'm trying to think of them all, a movie called The Giver. Um, and, uh, God, I, I can't remember them all. Um, uh, one, Don't Torture a Duckling or something. There, there's like four more. I still got to get and I'll have them all. So, awesome. Really happy to add to the Arrow collection. Okay, you guys. Well, I think we finally got to our last category, which is going to be collector sets. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so collector set. So the first one I'm going to show you here, I found really cheap at uh, Pawn America. I think it was like eight bucks for this set, but that is the three movie collection of the, you know, the newer Star Trek films. I'm not a Star Trek fan. Um, I've never seen any Star Trek movie. Believe it or not, I'm I'm more of just straight Star Wars fan, but not Star Trek. Um, but uh, like I said, I found this for eight dollars. And Jess really likes Star Trek, and I know her dad does too. Um, so, like I said, eight dollars at Pawn America. And this is just one of those like, you know, digi pack flip open type things. But you get all three films. So, for eight dollars, I mean, yeah, couldn't couldn't have turned it down. I know Jess really wanted it bad. So, um, you see, I've I've been deciding, trying trying to decide what to do if I should like. I, I want to watch the Star Trek films. Um, I don't know if, like, uh, I should start with the old ones and then watch these, or if it really makes a difference. I don't know, but... All right, so let's get into my very last item in this update that I'm so excited to show you guys. Let's do it. Okay, so you guys seen this in my Texas pickups video. I did go into, like, full detail, and I'm not going to do a lot now because I know how long this update has been, but that is the complete... Puppet Master Tulin's Trunk Collection. Um, I remember when I seen that this was coming out, you guys, and I was so excited to get it. Could not wait. I had it pre-ordered um, on Amazon for the longest time, um, and I saw it at the convention at the Full Moon booth, and it was like, it was a little bit more than Amazon, and I... Amazon got like when this I can't remember when this first came out. It was I think a couple months ago, and then they sold everything they had at that time. And then Amazon had new stock coming in this month actually. Um, and when I seen it at the booth, I'm like, oh my god, I want to pick this up now. And I actually got to meet Charles Band, you know, the creator of Puppet Master, and I asked him if he would. Uh, just give it to me for the price on Amazon, which was cheaper than what they were selling it for. And he's like, you know, for sure. And it is just so cool. Now, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the Puppet Master films. 
There's so many, and I, to be honest with you, I haven't even seen them all. But this set is gorgeous, and I needed this for the collection. Um, but let's just take a look. Um, it's really, really heavy duty. It's super heavy, um, and it's just, just awesome. They did a really good job with this collection. You know, uh, it's one of the, one of the best, like, co collector sets I've ever seen of a franchise. Um, so let's just kind of take a look at it now. I found this out later. Um, that uh, these particular sets come signed by Charles Band. Um, now, I don't know if that is actually like a live signature or if it's just like a print that they put on all the collections. I don't know for sure. Um, but uh, when I met Charles Band, he actually signed it for me, <laughs> um, which I found out later that his signature was already on the back. But he, he actually signed this for me. I said, you know, if I buy this, will you sign it? He's like, absolutely. Uh, so he put the date that he signed it right here, and then there's an actual live signature from him. Uh, so he was a really nice guy. And it's so funny, I never even knew that he's the father of Alex Band, the singer of The Calling. Yeah, I didn't even know that. That's the craziest shit ever. Um, but anyways, um, let's take a look on the inside, you guys. So it just opens up like any old uh, actual trunk. Um, and then we'll just flip these open like this. And then as you see, they make these little figures and Charles Band actually told me that they're gonna be making like all these so they all can fit in here. As you see, you got you know all this room right here on, the, on both sides that all these little uh, uh, Puppet Master toys are gonna to be just, you know, be able to sit right there on the sides, you know, when you have it displayed on the shelf. So we'll just take him out for now. Uh, but as you can see, you get all 11 films, which I think there's 11, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah, and then there's also a uh, like a special bonus disc in here but right at the top you get this uh, little uh, booklet um, set this down for a second um, take this a quick look just kind of it's like just kind of talking about each film so that's kind of cool and then we'll just go ahead and take the movies out of here so many puppet master films and there's another one coming out which is cool because there's actually room to stick one more in here well let's just take a quick look at the actual box with the movies out now so uh pretty cool looking uh it's got a real cool uh uh look to it from the from you know the film uh, a cool replica um so yeah i guess not not really much to that so looking at all the films, of course, we got the original Puppet Master, Puppet Master 2, Puppet Master 3, Puppet Master 4. I'm trying to remember, I think it's like, I probably only seen like the first four to be honest with you. Puppet Master 5, 6th one, Curse of the Puppet Master, 7th one, Retro Puppet Master, uh, eighth one, Puppet Master, The Legacy. Number nine, Puppet Master, A Axis of Evil. Uh, tenth one, Puppet Master, Axis Rising. And then the last one, uh, the eleventh one, Axis Termination. And then, like I said, there's a twelfth one coming out. And these movies are really weird. Like, it, it, when you think about it chronologically, they're kind of all over the place. Um, but anyways, then the last one here is this, a special... Bonus disc, uh, Arcana of the Puppet Master. So, uh, uh, Charles Band himself was actually talking about this, saying it's a really cool, uh, you know, bonus disc. You get a lot of uh, uh, special features, and you know, if you guys want to see the back of this, of all the movies. So, I'm really happy with this collection, you guys. It's, uh, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Puppet Master, but um, I just, I had to own this set. So there you go. There's a look at the uh, the Tulin's Trunk Puppet Master Collection from Charles Band. So badass. Looks awesome up on the shelf, you guys. And I'm so happy to uh, finally have this. So awesome. All right. So that'll do it for this Blu-ray update for the month of May. Thank you uh, to everybody for sticking with me. Uh, obviously, this is like my biggest update ever, and I try to go really fast. If, uh, if I went too fast for some of you on some of these titles, I apologize. I just didn't want this video to drag out forever. 
Uh, but uh, I had a lot of fun showing you all my pickups from May, you guys. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff uh, adding to the collection. So awesome. So there you go, everybody. Now, uh, June's looking pretty good so far as well. Um, there were going to be a lot more Disney titles in this update. Um, I placed a big order uh, through the Disney Movie Club uh, for my uh, my buddy, uh, Dr. Movie 91. And uh, it's taken a little bit longer to get. Um, so they will be in my June update, but I'm excited to show you guys all those Disney titles and place a nice big order with him. Um, so, so far there's a ton of Disney in, uh, in June and then a few other titles so far. I know that June is not going to be anywhere near as big as May. Hopefully I won't have any updates as big for a long time because I, I need to slow down. But uh, there you go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this uh, Blu-ray update, give it a thumbs up. Just hit that like button right down below. Drop me some comments, you know. Let's talk a little bit about this update, what, what you guys think of the update, uh, what you guys think of me joining the 4K Club. Um, share the video around. Subscribe if you have not. Thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great weekend, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.